among medical staff, do you think that people's uh, religious beliefs um, uh, for medical students or medical providers can thwart or, or can grease the wheels for their progression, uh, for their acceptance as a medical provider or for their career? Or do you think that that <coughs> just doesn't matter for providers? No, I, think it, I think it does matter. Mm -hmm. I think it's a factor. Especially the, the nature of, um, of medical training. Mm -hmm. After the initial classroom work and um, you know, just book learning, uh, so much of the learning becomes almost an apprenticeship or a preceptorship where you're learning from other residents or, or faculty members in a one-on-one -on -one or one-on-few uh, environment and the ability t for that to be successful mm -hmm. can be uh, impaired by a sense of a disconnect between a fundamental set of views a student has compared to what the faculty member or the resident has. That can be a certain discomfort injected into the relationship that can be uh, a hindrance mm -hmm. to just the basic medical training uh, occurring. How do we avoid that as teachers and as physicians? <clears throat> I think number one, being aware that this can happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and number two, uh, being committed to not allowing it be a, a factor in how you, you interact with uh, the, the people who are trying to learn from you. And be sensitive to when it's creeping into your relationship with a resident or a student. Uh, if you begin to feel a certain discomfort with a certain student or resident, and you can trace your, dis your discomfort to a dissonance you're having over the way you see the world, mm -hmm. um, to consciously try and you know, restrain that in, in, in you. So it's a natural human tendency, mm -hmm. I think, but uh, but it's one that we can control if we're aware of it and uh, and consciously committed to keeping it under control. So awareness and then uh, maintaining a broader mindset toward everybody else. One of the um, one of the. Uh, folks I interviewed uh, said that people are just not as simple as we think they are and that keeping in mind that people are more nuanced than we originally felt um, is, is probably the biggest help for her. Right, well th these are <coughs> I think a recognition that people are complex is, is important and I think a recognition that um, that people have you know, fundamental views of the world that form a basis for how they approach many things in, uh, in their professional lives. Um, and sometimes we're not even aware mm -hmm. how they're affecting our, 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 how we're approaching somebody, another professional, a colleague, a student. I mean, we just have to train ourselves to be sensitive to that, I think.